All right, I'm out in the garage tonight uh, working on the 1972 Honda CL70. Not sure if you found this video because you're having a twist throttle problem or if you've been watching the other videos. Um, if you haven't and you like that kind of stuff, uh, we're doing kind of like a, a frame-on restoration of this bike. It's a, I'm, I'm calling it a survivor bike. It's got 681 miles on it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, moving on to the twist throttle problem. So... Basically, the, the twist throttle, when you turned it, it was just staying there. When I originally started working on the bike, and it, you know, you could turn it back, but it was hanging up pretty good. So, originally, I didn't plan on making a video on this, so sorry that I already got this taken apart and everything. When I go put it back together, I'll, I'll show the sequence of putting it back together. Um, so, anyhow, I took it apart, had the cable out, cleaned the cable really good, lubricated it. The, the cable's working flawlessly uh, in and out without any issues. Um, there was a little bit of uh, surface rust around here. I cleaned that up, put everything back together, except uh, hooking up the carburetor was moving really nice. Thought that was my problem. Got the carburetor hooked back up, and you twisted it, and uh, didn't quite stay like it did the last time, or, you know, originally, uh, but you would twist it, and, you know, it would start to try to go back, but it wouldn't quite go back all the way by itself, so I started investigating a little bit further, and basically what I found, hopefully you're seeing that on the camera, down inside of here, um, there's a bunch of uh, surface rust in there, pretty good surface rust, actually, when I run my finger across it, it's, it's really rough, so Again, not sure if you're seeing this, but inside of there is kind of like this spiral design that goes all the way down or close to all the way down. And that rides inside of this right here. So when you're doing the twist throttle, it's kind of twisting around that. So I believe that that rust that's in there is is hanging up. Um, I was at a loss there for a while because, you know, this thing's moving like nobody's business. But as soon as you put this on and you hook the carburetor up, it, it sticks again. So I'm going to get inside of here uh, with a wire brush. Uh, I'm going to try to get one of those uh, wire brushes the plumbers use to clean the copper fittings. Hopefully I can find one long enough to get down there, clean that rust up. I'll show you the reassembly process on this if you're just curious how this comes apart. And uh, hopefully that fixed the problem. So we're going to find out. I'm going to, I don't have one of those brushes, so I'm going to pick one up tomorrow. And uh, I'll pick up on the video then. All right, so back out in the garage. Um, I ran to the uh, big box store and got some of these uh, copper pipe cleaners. Um, this is a small one, half inch. Uh, this one here is a one inch, which actually fits in the handle pretty good. You can see what I had to do. Uh, I busted the handle off, just put this in the vise, and uh, stuck a screwdriver on the end and twisted it the rest of the way. So now I should be able to pretty much get down there the whole way. Um, so even thinking about putting this in a drill, but we'll see. Uh, the one inch actually fits in there kind of tight, which is good. That way we're brushing right up against the walls. I may take the half inch and use that just to clean up a little bit if it's even necessary. So I can see that that's making a difference already. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of WD-40 in here and work it up and down a little bit more. Probably do it dry a couple more times and uh, we'll see what the end result is.
Okay, so I got the inside of that uh, grip all cleaned up. I got the rust all off and uh, put a little bit of WD-40 down there and cleaned it up. So before I go and put that back together, I just want to show you um, kind of how, again, I started this video late. I want to kind of show you the inner workings of this. So once you get that handle off, and I'll be putting that back on in a minute so you'll see what you have to do to take it off. This is what you have inside. You have this slide right here. And this thing right here is a guide. Uh, that's stationary. It does remove out of here. It lifts up. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that so you can see how it works. So this slide will just pull right out. You can see how the end of the cable is sitting in there. That just simply lifts out. Then you have this uh, guide right here. Just got to grab something and that'll pull out. Your cable should slide right out of there. If it doesn't, you may have to separate that slot a little bit. And pay attention to which way this comes out. This side right here is facing away from the handlebars. And then you can see the other side uh, is rounded. And that's for the end of the cable to go into. So that goes towards the end of the cable. So if you want to get this cable out to lubricate it like I did uh, at this point, let me get you over here. You can see this grommet right here. I already have that removed, but basically the grommet would be inside of there, obviously. And just carefully take like a flathead screwdriver or something and get in there and you can pry this out. Obviously be gentle with it. You don't want to rip that. I'm not even sure if you can get those anymore. Uh, but anyhow, you can pry that out, get that out of your way. Um, your other end is already off the carburetor. So at that point, get higher view here. you should be able to pull this right out now. All right, so now you got your whole cable out. There's one end. And that's the carburetor end. So what I did to lubricate this, get this to focus a little bit better. Um, you can see how easy this goes up and down now. And basically, I took advantage of this end here. Uh, this piece slides out of the way. This is what slides over the end of the carburetor. I just kind of lifted that up, poured WD-40 into the top of that, you know, just a few drops at a time. And then you can take your cable and just work it up and down. Eventually you want to get that WD-40 or whatever you're using uh, to start dripping out the other end. So this hang it, you know, straight up and down like that again, fill it up with WD-40 eventually, you know, that thing's moving flawlessly. So that's that. All right, so when you want to get this guy back in, uh, take your end here. Obviously, that goes towards the twist throttle. Just slide your grommet out of the way. You got your hole right here in the handlebars. Obviously, you're just going to slide that right up there. Eventually, it'll poke out. Get yourself a little bit of slack. Now you can take your guide first. Again, make sure the end with the, the circular hole in it faces that way. So pull your cable out. Slide that through the, the slice right there. Push that where the cable's going into that hole, pull your cable back, and then just set that guide right back down in there. You may have to tap it down a little bit. It went in that time. Last time I had to tap it with the end of a screwdriver a little bit. Now just take your slide 
put your cable in the end. At this point, you can pull your cable back a little bit, get that set in place. Make sure you get a good shot of this. All right, so you can see that right there. Just make sure your cable is pushed into the end of that block right here. Hopefully you can see that. That'll focus, which it doesn't want to. Uh, new camera, still getting used to it. But anyhow, just make sure the butt end of that cable is into that uh, guide right there. And then the other end of your cable will be there. And then this guy should slide back and forth nice and easily. All right, so here's a better shot of that. The camera didn't want to focus for me when it was in the stand. Uh, but anyhow, just make sure your cable is inside of there. You can see how it's butted up against the, the end of it. And then the other end of your uh, cable fits right into there. And again, this guy should slide back and forth with ease. All right, now we're going to slide our handle back on. Um, it's just that simple to slide it back on. You do kind of have to get a feel and make sure you got that spiral uh, catching the slide just right. There, I didn't catch it. I think that's it. All right, so once you get it to catch, you'll know. You'll feel the cable going in and out. If you look down there, you should be able to see that cable slide in and out of there. All right, so once you're in there, now you can take your two halves here and get that line back up. Now you can see the slot here, or this raceway down here. You got the other half. They're going to clamp around the round part here. All right, so once you got these two halves together, squeeze them down, get your two screws started. All right. Once you squeeze down on that nice and tight, go ahead and tighten them up. All right, just go ahead and make sure that that closed evenly. Actually, I got a little bit of a gap there. The wiring harness goes through here, so sometimes that holds it back a little bit. So I'll snug that up a little bit more. Same thing, check the other side. But now we got nice, smooth back and forth. Um, it's not going to spring back on its own right now because the carburetor is not hooked back up. And that's obviously where the spring is that's going to return that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the carburetor fixed up and... Hopefully that did the trick. All right, so we got that carburetor back together, and uh, it's working good now. It's springing back on its own. So that's what it was. Uh, basically, it was that rust on the inside of that tube. Um, don't get me wrong, the, the cable definitely needed cleaning. Um, that was really stiff uh, when I first started working with that. And uh, I rebuilt the carburetor a while back. There's a video out there on that. So... You know that's something you're interested in uh, take a look at that I am going to show you real quick how to take the other end of the cable off the carburetor just in case you're watching this video on how to do this from from start to finish uh, it's the only thing I didn't show it's not really that hard to do so I'm gonna get the camera set up down there and uh, show you guys how to do that 
All right, so we're down here at the carburetor. Uh, obviously, there's your throttle cable going in that uh, we were just working with a little while ago. Um, so to get this end off, so you can get the cable out, so you can clean it and lube it, and uh, you also have to have it off here to pull it out to get your handle and all that stuff off. So, you know, for people that already know how to do this, you know, it's probably not for you, but just in case, again, if you're here to learn how to repair your twist throttle, if you have that issue, I just want to show this. So you're going to twist this guy off counterclockwise, and you're going to have a slide in there. And that's what everything's going to look like. That's your spring. That's what's uh, returning your, your twist throttle. That guy just slides up out of the way. It's going to keep sliding back at you. You can take this boot, slide that up. So to get this spring off, this part can be a little tricky. you got to compress this spring. I usually take something. I, probably not the best tool. I have scissors next to me here, so going to push that spring up get a hold of it with your two fingers it's going to be fighting you the whole time you got to get it pulled back so it's out of there now you're going to take your cable and you're going to slide that out and then you're going to have to push up on it I'll try to show you the inside of that there's the end of the cable right there so that's going to be pushed up once it gets pushed up it can be pulled out that's your slide. Set that to the side. Don't let go of this spring or it's going to go flying across the room. Grab a hold of the end of this and slowly let that spring up. And then once you got the tension off the spring, it'll come right off. And then all you're going to have left here is the, the cable. This guy will slide right off. Like so. That guy, you can get off of there so you don't lose it and that's it uh, now you can pull this cable through and you can do what you have to do um, the only thing I will say uh, a little thing to look out for make sure you watch your your routing of your cable because uh, if you don't and you end up wrapping around the other side or something you won't have enough clearance to steer the bike back and forth so definitely pay attention to your uh, the way your cable is routed that's important so that's it hopefully this video helped somebody um, that's how you take it apart this end. I already showed you how to do the top part. Uh, take care of your cable. Uh, clean that up really good. If you have the same issue with the rust and the twist throttle, clean that up. Uh, the best thing to clean that was that one-inch uh, pipe cleaner for sure. I didn't even use the half-inch one. Uh, the one-inch one fit in there nice and tight, but not too tight where you couldn't move it. Uh, it cleaned it up really good in there, and it definitely did the trick. So again, hope it helped somebody. Uh, look out uh, for some more videos on the C